Friends, this is the joyful feast of the people of God. By the mysterious wonder of our triune God, we gather here to celebrate a feast for all time. Joining with Jesus and his disciples in an upper room, with the church of the ages who've come here so often, with sisters and brothers in faith all along the way, with some we know well and some we know not at all. Here we trust that the mystery of God will take on flesh. Here we gain a taste of the divine and here we are fed as we go forth to serve in the world. Come, all of you, and share in this feast of holiness and wonder of God. Blessed be God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Paul set the scene. Let us remember it now. The tradition which I handed on to you came to me from the Lord himself, that on the night of his arrest the Lord Jesus took bread. And after giving thanks to God, broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in memory of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, This cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in memory of me. For every time you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. O God, loving Father and Mother Eternal, Creator of all time and space, in this our own time and place, we give you thanks and praise for giving us life and inviting us to share in the history of a people who are blessed by your faithfulness, challenged by your prophets, forgiven by your mercy and ever surprised by your power to do more, working in us than we can ask or imagine. Therefore, we join our voices with voices of all you have created all you have loved, all you sustain to praise you, saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. Hosanna in the highest. We thank you for your life, fully expressed in our brother Jesus, bone of our bone and flesh of our flesh whose life, death and resurrection reveal you fully, your love for humanity, your desire for human freedom, your passion for justice. We remember that Jesus gathered at table with his friends in a time of foreboding and fear, took bread, blessed it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat, for this is my body. And after supper, Jesus looked forward to that day of joy and power, taking the cup of wine, blessed it and said, Take this, all of you, and drink. This is the cup of the new covenant in my blood. I will share this meal with you again in the reign of God. Share this bread and this cup in memory of me. Let us proclaim together the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Come now, Holy Spirit, as you were present at creation, be present now and let these gifts of bread and cup become for us the bread of life and the cup of blessing. 
as you were sent by Jesus to accompany us on our journey of faith, be present now and make this community in receiving this bread and cup one body in Christ. Amen. Following Jesus' example and in obedience to him, who on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks he broke it, and said, This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do it in memory of me. Take, eat. This is the body of Christ, which is broken for you. Do this, remembering him. This cup is the new covenant sealed by Christ's blood, which was shed that the sins of many might be forgiven. Drink from it, all of you. The peace of the Creator be with you. The peace of the Saviour be with you. The peace of the Comforter be with you. The peace of our Triune God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and always. Let us pray. Almighty and Eternal God, you have revealed yourself as Father, Son and Holy Spirit and live and reign in perfect unity, an eternal dance of love in which you have made room for us. Hold us firm in this faith that we may know you in all your ways. Take our place in the dance and evermore rejoice in your eternal glory, who are three persons, yet one God, now and forever. Amen. God, the Holy Trinity, make you strong in faith and love, defend you on every side and guide you in truth and peace. And now may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>